artist because I felt that I needed to be an artist. I found that I was responding to great emotional upheavals by expressing myself in art. This is actually my living room. But when I get serious about working, I put a large table in, in the middle of the floor and work there. I'm an assemblage artist primarily. Assemblage is like 3D collage, where you put stuff together. And it's generally kind of surreal, a combination of elements that usually don't go together. One of the things I will do is start to collect pieces that go together. I've got a ray gun and some science fiction books and a rocket. I keep things in one place till I actually use them if I know they're for a specific place. And so for the last six months I've had this pile of things relating to shooting gallery and these birds. I will have several birds on each straw and drill holes in the side of this box that I built myself and it will be a shooting gallery and this is based on a piece by Joseph Cornell which he in which he referred to a shooting gallery but it wasn't actually a shooting gallery so this will be the Joseph Cornell Memorial Shooting Gallery. I will have some of his more usual motifs up here in little segments. And again, I'm building that, building them, but these need to be trimmed. And so there's that. And there'll be another little parrot like this and just little odds and ends that are very Joseph Cornellian. Joseph Cornell is unquestionably the strongest influence that I've had in my art. I do boxes and they can be large like this one and I've got another one where it's about this big. Now this is a found object and I kind of give myself imaginary bonus points when I find an object at a yard sale that just looks cool. I have no idea what this was intended for, but to me, I saw it and it said, that has to be a piece of art. This is actually one of my own favorite pieces. Most people have no reaction to it at all, but I like it. This is yet another surface in my li living room that is just crammed with stuff that I'm working on. Clearly, that's the head of a body. That purple piece is very Joseph Cornell Cornelian, um, with the beads on the wire, the references to time, and the whole sense of the whole sense of time and space, and it's called time-space continuum. I've got spare parts, I've got pieces in progress. This I found somewhere and... What is it? I have no... it's a filament checker, that's what it says. Oh. But it just said, I'm a piece of art. Whatever you plan, it doesn't matter. Life may have something very different in store for you. So I'm turning this into a different game of chance called the Delphic Oracle and it will spin to pictures of ancient statues that express a particular feeling just in the way they were constructed. It's obviously not finished yet. So, oh yeah, that's Barbie the Universal Soldier. Oh, the Marvel Mystery Oil. Oh yeah, here's another piece in progress. It's 
going to go into a box. The piece will be called I Had a Difficult Childhood and coming out of the spout part of the grinder will be little tiny babies, many little tiny babies. I've got a number of pieces that are uh, like geometric abstractions of New York City. I've even got a quasi subway system. That's another city abstraction. That piece is about getting to the center of how the brain works, because I think the brain is a just a marvelous instrument.